guys welcome back to the channel how is everybody doing today hopefully everybody is doing well well guys it's about 11 about 11 20 in the morning uh the sun is shining it's like 50 degrees out it's a wonderful day to go out and do some blu-ray hunting and i was kind of looking through my collection and i realized i was feeling kind of nostalgic for some movies that i would watch when i was younger you know and i was kind of looking through and i was like there's a lot in here that I kind of would uh, like to watch that I don't actually have in my collection, which I kind of thought was odd that I hadn't uh, hadn't picked them up at this point. But uh, there's a few I have in mind, and especially one that I've been meaning to get for a long time. This one I knew I didn't have. And it usually is fairly expensive online, and according to the website, my Barnes and Noble has it for seven dollars on DVD. Now this movie doesn't even have a blu-ray uh blu-ray release it only has a dvd but for seven dollars i will gladly pick it up because i've been mean to want to i've been meaning to watch it for a while so uh i'm not gonna say what it is not yet um so i'm gonna go to barnes and noble first and see if i can find that and see what other movies we can find and then i'll maybe move on to one or two other places and uh see what kind of nostalgic 90s primarily 90s maybe some 80s movies that i can find so uh let's get going Okay, guys, so we're rolling out of the Barnes & Noble. Uh, they did have the movie I was looking for. Um, it was actually kind of funny because this is an old movie. And it says they had it in stock, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And I asked, and it just came in. Like, it was still in the box in the back, which I thought was kind of humorous because it's not exactly a movie that you would think is just coming in. You'd think of this is a movie that you found had probably been sitting there for a while. So I thought that was, I found that, kind of funny that uh they had to go in the back and get it out of the box of stuff that just got delivered um i thought that was pretty funny but anyway they had the movie i'll show it off at the end of the video and i'm very excited because i haven't seen this movie in years and i've been craving to watch it so i look forward to that but uh anyway we are going to keep this blu-ray hunting trip going for a little bit we're going to head over one town we're gonna head over to one town over and go to the half price books and see what kind of good stuff we can find there so let's get going guys
bust. Like everything that they have in there, they either they either have already on like Blu-ray and they only had on DVD, or it's on Blu-ray but they have a 4K for it and it was too expensive. And so yeah, I mean I didn't really find anything. I was hoping to find like Dumb and Dumber and maybe there's something about Mary on Blu-ray, but just DVD. But anyway, we're gonna go to Silver see if we can find anything there. Savers was a joke. They never have anything good. I don't know why I ever waste my time going in there. But I think we're going to go hit up one more place. I think we're going to go to the uh, uh, Goodwill. Uh, the Goodwill that's over in this town is usually fairly good. They usually have a good variety of movies. It's just a matter of whether it's what I'm looking for or not. But either way, I think we're going to go there, check it out, and... Um, yeah, if I find nothing there, then I probably only got one movie to show off for this trying to find movies from my, you know, my youth, nostalgic movies. Um, but it was at least one that I've wanted for a while, and I got it at a very, very good price. And I'm very excited to watch it. So uh, let's go to the Goodwill. Let's see if we can find something. You know what? Before we go to the Goodwill, I'm going to throw in one stop for NECA hunting because I'm over by a Target that I haven't been to in a long time and usually they have a good selection of NECA stuff so I'm going to pepper in one stop for a little bit of NECA hunting before we go to the Goodwill. So I'll see you guys at Target. wrong they didn't have anything this fucking sucks let's get out of here Right, guys well we're back home it's actually several hours later i actually shaved and look a little more presentable than i did earlier in the video a little bit not not much uh i was actually gonna film a little bit more and actually film a little bit in the car on the way home after uh the last goodwill i went to but my phone died and i didn't have a charger in my car so the, <laughs> the video just kind of ended i wasn't uh i wasn't planning on that i was going i thought i was going to be able to make it and uh film a little something on the way home and film a couple more things uh, in the store, but that was not in the cards. Um, I did pick up a couple items uh, at, at the Goodwill. Uh, they had a bunch of like 90s movies that I grew up with on VHS, not so much um, on like DVD or even or more like Blu-ray, which is what I was really looking for. But if I had a VHS player, man, I would have been... I would have been all set. They had uh, plenty of stuff there, but uh, I still did pick up a couple of items. Um, I picked up one item that was um, like a nostalgic movie from when I was a kid and one that was not. And uh, we're going to start with that one. Uh, so I picked up um, Bridge of Spies. It's a Steven Spielberg movie. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about this movie. Uh, I remember that the Coen brothers wrote it and I remember the dialogue being really funny and I thought it was really kind of unique but weird at the same time about having a movie that's like this and shot like this and the content of like what this movie is kind of mixed with uh Coen Brothers kind of humor and dialogue but uh, I remember uh thinking it was quite interesting 
I don't remember much else about it, so I really look forward to revisiting it. Uh, but yeah, it was only three bucks, so I figured why not? I think, is this the DVD and Blu-ray? Yep, we got both of them in there. Um, I think I checked, hopefully I did, but oh yeah, they're mint. At least the Blu-ray is, that's all I really care about. So yeah, so I picked up Bridge of Spies, I look forward to revisiting that one. Uh, and now on to the um, movies that I picked up uh, that are kind of the nostalgic feeling, the kind of the reason I went out today. And uh, when I got to the Goodwill, one of the first things I saw was the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3-pack. Uh, now, I already own the first one. And the third one, let's be honest, is by far the weakest one in the collection. Uh, so I really only needed the second one. I didn't own the second one. But I figured for $3, uh, all the discs, there were a couple of the discs, like the third one and the first one, that are a little bit scratched, but I don't think it's going to affect the playback. And the second one, which is the one I really wanted, was pretty minty fresh. So um, I figured I'll pick it up, but I really only needed the second one. So I paid $3 for the second one. But I'm glad to have it in the collection, because let's be honest, there's nothing quite like pizza and watching the first two Ninja Turtle movies on like a Friday or Saturday night. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So I'm glad to have the second one in the collection. Now the third one, whatever. Uh, maybe I'll revisit it at some point, but I remember it not being very good. In fact, I think I watched it like 15 years ago again and didn't even make it through. So now we are on to the one movie that I was really excited to get. And uh, that's Encino Man. I've been meaning to watch this. I've been wanting to watch this for about a year, but every time I go to like Amazon or anywhere, it's always like 14 bucks. And I'm like, I like Encino Man. I really do. And I'd love to have it in the collection, but I'm not paying $14 for a, uh, for a, uh, a DVD. I mean, if it was a Blu-ray, maybe, but I'm not going to pay $14. Well, they had this, this is $9.99, but they had it on the Barnes Noble website for uh, $6.99. So it's like $7, I'll pay $7. And to be honest with you, it's quite ridiculous that this doesn't have a Blu-ray release. I mean, if we can get a Blu-ray release for Jury Duty, <laughs> then Son-in-Law and Encino Man are way overdue for a Blu-ray release. Now I see that this is a Mill Creek um, so I don't know if they still have the rights to it, but this is also Mill Creek, and it came out with this cool, um, I love the 90s with this kind of retro slip cover. You, you know, it's the tape sticking out there, and then you kind of got the tape coming out the back there. I mean, they really should be putting out stuff like this for Encino Man, Biodome. Well, I think Biodome actually already has a Blu-ray release through, I think, all of films. But, um... Son-in-Law and Encino Man definitely should get this kind of treatment too. In my opinion, they're far, far more enjoyable films than Jury Duty. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't know. Mill Creek is actually only about 15 miles down the road from my house. I should go talk to them and be like, hey, get it together. I'm sure they'd listen to me, right? But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm glad to have this in the collection because I've wanted this for a while and it was always so expensive. Even on eBay, people saw it for a lot, but $6.99 is a price I can get behind it, a price that I'm willing to pay. So I'm actually going to watch this as soon as I'm done editing this video. And uh, I look forward to revisiting this because it's been a long time. It's probably been a good decade, if not more, since I've seen Encino Man. Um, yeah, and this is this is my childhood right here. I think this came out like 90... I'm not even sure. Maybe like 93-ish? I don't know. All it has is like the remake year, the DVD release year. I don't see it, but it's probably like 92, 93, somewhere around there. So yeah, I was a teenager or just about a teenager. So I was all about the Pauly Shore movies. So yeah, that's it, guys. I just uh, picked up those three items, but uh, three quality items that uh, I'm happy to have in the collection. So yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know you guys like what I'm doing. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think of Encino Man? Do you think it's about time Encino Man and Son-in-Law get Blu-ray upgrades? Uh, I think it is. Uh, Biodome's got one. Jury Duty's got one. 
in the army now. I don't really remember. I don't care as much about that. But Sun and Line and Sino, man. Let's, let's root for that Blu-ray release. Come on, let's get that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Uh, you, guys are amazing. you guys are amazing as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.